Hello again, guys. I, I'm in a bit of a weird place. I've been filming videos, I've been filming sort of vlogs for the last several weeks. I'm gonna say two to three weeks at this point, between the last one that you saw and right now. But for some reason, I haven't actually been able to make myself do an entire day's worth of video. So, I thought what I would do is just show you some of the things that I captured. So first up, we have when Christina's parents were in town the last time, it was a beautiful day, so we all ended up going outside for a few minutes. Ellis took the opportunity to get into his swing for the first time this year, and he absolutely loved it. Duncan bounced on the trampoline again, with each of us and it was an awful lot of fun. The following weekend we went to see my family for a couple of days wherein Ellis discovered his, well we'll call it a renewed love of basketball. He's been watching basketball on TV for quite a little while now as in he'll crawl over to the TV and like he's actually recently started pulling up to the TV getting right up on it. It's like no don't do that. But when we went to see my parents he discovered a love for actually playing basketball as a baby meaning they handed him a small hand-sized basketball for a baby and he was able to actually shoot it or dunk it into the, the little basketball hoop that they've got there. And of course right after we got back into town my sister-in-law sent us almost an identical basketball hoop because she hadn't gotten him anything for his birthday yet. Anyway while we were there we also ended up going and spending some time with my grandmother. She still seems to be feeling pretty well and so we're just sort of taking it one step at a time one day at a time. And then this past weekend so I guess it has been over three weeks that I've been filming these things we went to Ikea for the first time in like a year and a half. If you guys watched the daily vlogs that I did there for a year or more, I love Ikea. The grand majority of the furniture in my office at home is from Ikea. A lot of the furniture throughout the rest of the house is from Ikea. Most of the furniture in Duncan's room is from Ikea. And so I filmed a lot of stuff like that morning. And then I filmed little bits and bobs on the way to the store and walking in. But then once we actually got there, I just stopped filming. Duncan was in a rough mood. He was not wanting to be there. Duncan doesn't like to go shopping. So being there for like three hours, he didn't really have a great time. Even Ellis got pretty tired for a while there. And Ellis doesn't normally have any problems with anything that we do. He just is happy all the time. But anyway, I spent the majority of this weekend, other than being at Ikea, putting together Ikea furniture. So when I get home, I'm, I'm on my way home from work right now. When I get home, I'll show you some of the stuff that I put together. My office is looking a little bit better. Duncan's bedroom is looking a little bit more like a boy's bedroom as opposed to a young boy's or a kid's. You'll see when we get home. And I'm here, I've made it home. I'm in my home office getting everything set up so that I can get back to doing some quick work before Duncan gets home. But I thought I'd show you the one thing that I picked up from my office. In that little bit of an Ikea video that I made there, I talked about getting something for here and something for there. You may notice there's there's nothing there. But I picked up this guy, it was actually only about 80 bucks. I think it's called a Bruce Solly, and it's essentially a three shelf TV stand. So what I'm doing so far is I've got the game consoles here at the top. So we got the PS4, the Xbox One, and the Switch. We've got the router. We've got the Nvidia Shield, a Philips Hue Go light, love that light, modem and other sort of things over there. And then all of this area down here is open. And basically what I'm planning to do is take some of the things from over in this area that are taking up space, like microphones and maybe some cameras, put them out here as sort of a display, and then actually start taking proper advantage of some of the storage that I've got over here. And eventually deal with, yeah. So minor updates, but things are coming along nicely. You may have noticed a little bit of whiteness here in the background. I've actually got a folding table in here. The other plan that I had for my office was I was going to get a new unboxing table, because I've been using this laptop desk for a little while and it's just, it's not quite big enough. The table that I wanted to get from Ikea is called the Norden Gate Leg Table. It would have been absolutely perfect, but it's heavy. Like, it's ridiculously heavy. I wanted a table that I could fold down the sides, I could pick it up and move it from place to place anytime I needed to, but it was so heavy that I could not lift it without some significant heft. I could technically pick it up and put casters on it. That would make it very easy to move around, but it's just more effort and it's gonna make it a little less stable. So for the time being, I think I'm gonna start using a folding card table. This is like a six foot table, super cheapo. We always use it for our yard sales and stuff. It'll get the job done for now, and it's a flat white surface. But moving on to the boys' rooms. So Ellis's room got a little bit of a minor update. We actually pulled this little table and chairs out of Duncan's room, because Duncan's, Duncan's way too big for that at this point. Ellis already had this bookshelf over here, which we've got a bunch of books and puzzles and games and stuff in. But Duncan had these two sets of, well, toy shelves, I guess is the best way to call it. But it's, they've just got these little colored boxes inside of them. You put whatever sort of toys and stuff you want to in there. And since Ellis is a little more about toys at this point, we figured this is probably the better option. But for Duncan's room, moving more in to be sort of a, a bigger boy's room, we got him a TV stand. So he's got a TV, he's got the Xbox and the Wii U, some game stuff down under there, and then a bunch of like Skylanders and Disney Infinity stuff down in the bottom. 
Of course, his bookshelf here in the middle. This is not changed from before. And a desk, a Mickey desk. Little chair that we can roll out. Unfortunately, we didn't get a, a mat to put the chair on, so it doesn't roll, but he really liked the chair. And he's gonna have a little drawer he can put stuff in. He's also gonna have just the big flat surface, so when we get him a laptop or whatever, he can put it on there. More to the point, when he needs to do homework and stuff, he can technically come up here, sit at his desk and read, sit in his beanbag chair and read, get the work done that he needs to get done in his own space, in his own time. Minor updates, minor changes. Changes. A lot of effort. <laughs> anyway, I gotta get back to work. And I guess I could technically tell you a little bit about what I'm working on and what I'm doing. We're in the process of changing the way some of the things work where I work. This is gonna get technical, so feel free to skip ahead. And some of it involves using things like Jenkins for build automation and Docker for containing all of the builds after you've built them. And basically what I've been tasked with doing is creating a Jenkins server on Amazon, pulling out the configuration for it, putting it somewhere so that it's reproducible, and then making it so that when the server dies. If it ever does die, it reproduces itself. So it can come back up, it can pull that configuration back down and start working, very minimal downtime, and then be used by all of our developers to, if they check in code, it can pull down that code, it can build that code for them, it can stick it into a Docker container and then push it back up to Amazon, make it available. Sort of a weird round robin type process, but I understand it now and I've been fighting with it for the last few weeks, but we're actually coming upon time where one, we're gonna have to go into the actual release process. It's gonna have to happen. And two, I'm getting ready to go on vacation at about the same time. So I'm like locked down crunch mode, gotta get this done. So I'm gonna dive back into it now. I'm skipping way on ahead. Everybody's now home. It's such a beautiful day. Duncan's out on the trampoline. Mom is watching. I'm retrieving the basketball. I'm uh, it and Ella's just had a big old meal. Feeling good. <laughs> he wants to shoot it. There you go. Slam Duncan Duncan. This little guy has recently decided, in addition to just pulling up on everything and trying to learn to walk, he's just decided this is like his favorite spot. So anytime somebody goes upstairs, he comes here and stands and waits. He, he wants to climb the stairs, but just hasn't done it yet. But uh, I actually posted a picture of him doing what he just did, where he was standing at the banister leaning around on Instagram. So if you see me on Instagram, follow, you know, stuff. <laughs> anyway, he's growing up too fast. He's gonna be walking before we know it. I mean, he's literally pulling up on everything. He can reach the bathroom doorknob and he's trying to learn how to turn that. Growing up too fast. So yeah, I'm gonna go out the door. Bye. And we come yet again to the end of the evening. I actually made some pretty decent progress in what I was working on earlier that I was telling you guys about. At this point, I have a Jenkins server, an automatic build server that automatically backs itself up to Amazon and then whenever you go to, let's say you have to roll it over for some reason, if something dies about it, as long as the configuration was still good, you can load up a new instance of it and it automatically pulls itself down from Amazon, reinflates back into being a Jenkins server and starts running again and backing itself up again. The good thing about that is the way that Amazon S3 works, it actually takes that file, that, that copy of everything and backs it up versioning itself. So if there's one specific version that's bad or you know when something went bad, you can go back and delete everything or just specifically restore one version of it. Good stuff. And with all the time that I've spent kind of like distracting myself from day job work with YouTube videos and whatnot over the last couple of years, it's kind of nice to be in that place where I'm, I'm kind of excited about what I'm doing again. I don't think I've ever actually mentioned it on here, but stuff has been up in the air at work lately. I've gotten jumbled around. I'm onto a different team now with different management, with different everything doing different work and it's it's exciting again it's exciting and interesting stuff can't complain and we've got the boys in bed and mama's in here doing things with a knife making the cantaloupe be all cantaloupe like I'm not any very good at this no well you don't eat cantaloupe so it's not like you're going to be an artiste at it or anything but i think that's where i'm going to wrap things up for today like i was saying at the very beginning of the video I'm in a really weird place when it comes to these type of videos. If it's gonna be a whole day where things are going to be fun and exciting and interesting and I really want to film it, I do that. But the other stuff, there's all these little bits and bobs of things that I wanna make sure that I film. Like, well, all the bits that I showed you earlier. Those are things that I wanted to make. And the whole Ikea day, I wanted to turn that into one whole video, but my mental state didn't really work out that way. So I'm just, I'm trying, we'll see what happens. Not putting a huge amount of pressure on myself about it. And thank you guys for not putting pressure on me about it. We'll do what we can do when we can do it. And to be entirely honest, I haven't been doing much of anything for the main channel lately either. I've been doing one, maybe two videos per week, if that. And I'm trying to fix that as well. I don't have a huge stockpile of things that have to be done, which is nice, but I've been kind of turning things away too, just so that I can take a little bit of a breather 
we're also going on vacation in a couple of weeks, which will be very nice. So maybe that will help me refresh and reset and make me want to pull the camera out all the time. But for today, I'm gonna wrap this up. So thank you guys as always for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see these types of family vlogs and me talking tech stuff behind the scenes and whatnot. Cool. But we'll see you again next time.